Would you do what Jesus did? He swapped a spineless castle for a grimly stable. He exchanged the worship of angels for the company of killers. He nursed from a breast and was clothed in a diaper. If you were God, would you? I wouldn't, but Christ did. If you knew that those who loved you would laugh in your face, would you still care? If you knew that the tongues you made would mock you, the mouth you made would spit on you, the hands you made would crucify you, would you still make them? Jesus did. He humbled himself. He went from commanding angels to sleeping in the straw, from holding stars to clutching Mary's fingers. Why? Because that is what love does. It puts the beloved before itself. Your soul was more important than his blood. Your eternal life was more important than his earthly life. Your place in heaven was more important to him than his place in heaven. So he gave it up so you could have yours. He loves you that much. And because he loves you, you are of prime importance to him. Love goes the distance and Christ traveled from limitless eternity to be confined by time in order to become one of us. He didn't have to. Any step along the way, he could have called it quits. But he saw the size of the womb, he could have stopped. When he saw how tiny his hands would be, how soft his voice would be, how hungry his tummy would be, he could have stopped. The first time he scraped his knee, tasted burnt uh, bagels, he could have walked out. When he saw the dirt floor on his Nazareth home, when Joseph gave him a chore to do, when the fellow students were dozing off during the reading of the Torah, his Torah, at any point, Jesus could have said, that's enough, I'm going home, but he didn't. He didn't because of his love. Think about that for a minute. Drink deeply from that for a moment. Don't just sip and nip. It's time to go. It's time to let his love cover all things in your life. All secrets, all hurts, all hours of evil, minutes of worry, his love will cover all that. Every promise broken, drug taken, penny stolen, every cross word, cuss word, harsh word, his love covers it all. Let it discover along with the psalmist. He loads me with love and mercy. Psalm 103, verse 4. Picture a giant dump truck full of love. There you are behind it. God lifts the bed until the love starts to slide. Slowly at first, then down, down, down until you're hidden, buried, covered completely in his love. Do it for his sake, for the peace of your heart. And do it for their sake, for the people in your life. Let his love fall on you so yours can fall on them.